Hello and welcome, my name is Kaylee Jo and I make content all about my experiences as a theater educator and today we are here to chat about all things musical theater audition songs. Let's jump right in with tip number one and that is create a musical theater audition book. So this is a collection or a repertoire of songs that you know incredibly well and are very comfortable singing. If you have seen my general audition tips video, then you know that I believe that preparation is everything. So having a few songs in your back pocket that you can pull out just in case you have a last minute audition pop up or just having songs that you know inside and out is always a good idea. So quick little anecdote, I recently sold my house and moved three and a half hours away, which is also why the background looks different and will probably continue to look different for the next few videos until I find my groove here at my new home. But anywho, as I was packing up all of my things, I came across a notebook with all of my notes from a graduate school class in musical theater that I took in the summer of 2021. So while I was there, I had this incredible incredible professor named John Leonard, and he has 40 plus years of experience both in college theater and professional theater, and he is absolutely amazing. As I was going through these notes, I found all of this information that I had written down about his musical theater audition tips, and they are an absolute gold mine, and I just knew that I had to share them with my channel. He recommended having five songs in your audition book or repertoire that fit the following categories. Now that you have compiled a list of possible songs for each of those categories, I have a list of 10 questions to ask yourself about each song to determine whether or not it deserves one of those top five spots. Question number one is painfully simple, and that is, do you love it? If this isn't a song that you enjoy singing, then go ahead and throw it out right now because that is going to become very obvious in your performance. Question number two, does it suit your age, gender, energy, and life experience. Is this a character that you could believably portray right now? I've talked about this a little bit in other videos, and the idea here is just to choose a character that you could believably portray. Because if you are 16 years old, then I really wouldn't recommend singing a song by somebody who is a war veteran who's been married and has children and grandchildren, because that is way more experience than you personally have, which just makes it more difficult for you to be able to portray that type of character. And if you're not able to portray a believable character in the audition room, then it's highly doubtful that the audition panel is going to feel as though you can portray a believable character in their production. Question number three, does this fill a gap in your audition book? Obviously, this question can be a little tough to answer if you are just now putting together your audition repertoire, but the point here is to make sure that you're showing some range. So even if you have selected five songs that fit all those various categories and time periods, if you're only choosing songs for characters who are young, doe-eyed ingenues, then you're not showing a lot of range as a performer. Question number four. Does this song show you off vocally without any weaknesses or casting concerns? The root of this is just don't choose a song that you can't sing, right? You do not want to show the audition panel that they have anything to worry about. So if the song is slightly out of your range or you really can't hold that final note, then don't choose it. Pick something else. You don't want to give them any cause for concern. Question number five. Is this song overly popular right now? This does not just go for brand new musicals. This can also happen with older titles. So for example, the musical Funny Girl has been around for about 60 years, but whenever Leah Michelle performed some of these songs on the TV show Glee, there was a sudden resurgence in popularity and everybody was singing the songs again. So just make sure that you're paying attention for songs that are overly popular at the moment. You can always kind of set them off to the side and revisit them later if they go down in popularity. But in the meantime, you don't want to risk everybody else singing the same song as you. Question number six, is it a song that is really polarizing? So people either love it or they hate it. You might just take a general poll among your friends who know musical theater and see what their initial reaction is to the title of your song, because there are certain pieces that people really either love or hate. And obviously you cannot please everybody and you shouldn't try to, but you also shouldn't choose a song that people just immediately have a really, really strong reaction to either way. Question number seven, does the song require choreography. So any song where the lyrics specifically say that you need to move a certain way or go somewhere, you should avoid. Examples are Bend and Snap from Legally Blonde or Time Warp from Rocky Horror Picture Show. Question number eight, does the song require the character to have an accent? 
If so, choose a new song. Examples include basically anything from Annie Get Your Gun or anything sang by the character Adelaide in Guys and Dolls. Question number nine, is this a signature song? AKA, is there an artist out there who is known for this song? Whenever you think of their name, you think of this song. If that's the case, you should probably choose a new piece because whenever you walk into the audition room and tell them what song you're going to sing, they are immediately going to have that artist pop into their head and it's gonna be really difficult to compare yourself to them. So some examples include Popular and Defying Gravity from Wicked, Don't Rain on My Parade from Funny Girl, or I Am Telling You and I Am Telling You from Dream Girls. Question number 10, is this song more interesting than you are? So this, I know this is an odd one, but it's probably my favorite question on this entire list and nobody can answer it except for you. But I think it's kind of similar to that concept of is the outfit wearing you or are you wearing the outfit, right? So make sure that you're not choosing a song that outshines you or is bigger than you. Don't forget to check out next week's video for more tips on musical theater auditions, this time what to do specifically in the audition room. So where to look, what to do with your hands, and how to begin and end your piece, I will answer all of those questions. Also, if you're not subscribed, please go ahead and do so and share this channel with your friends in hopes that I can reach 1,000 subscribers by the end of 2023. Thank you so much for watching and as always, break a leg.